It's another beautiful sunny day. So today we're working on closing in the gable ends. We'll put on a drip cap across there and then we'll cut all the sheet. This is this roof is a 412 pitch. So it's uh, for each four foot sheet of uh, T111, it, the length increases by 16 inches. So we're, it's easy to get our measurements that way. We'll cut those all ahead and put them on. We're ready to put roof rack on. It's really strong, strong product. When you put staples through that, it just doesn't tear like felt paper. Um, works really good. And the, the cost is probably the same or less than felt paper. Who'd have thought? Have, have all the roof wrap on. Now we'll put on a, a mesh, a screen mesh to vent the ridge. First coat of stain. Pretty much we roll behind that as needed if there's any runs or anything. Then uh, within half an hour we can go back around and put a second coat on. So we're fitting the T111 in here. Um, it's a little tricky coming up through here. Not too bad if you just know your angles. The roof pitch is at uh, 412, as well as the breezeway, mudroom roof is 412, so it, it, they will match. Um, so you just have to cut those appropriately. The interesting thing is we're here, we're ready to go up over the roof so we had to do multiple angles. Uh, I'll go down and show you what we did. I had a scrap piece of T111, so I used this to get uh, basically the lower part angle from, let's see, from here 
from roof to roof, we needed 25 and a half inches. So I just, I had the scrap piece. I wanted to get the angles correct. So we cut that uh, at a 412. I knew that, let's see, from here to here was seven inches straight over to the peak. So I, just, I did a square, used, a, used my square to get a line. Cut this at a 412 up to there and then made this go down at a 412. Uh, this one's too short, this was just a sample one. So I've marked it out on this sheet. We'll cut it out, see if it fits. Let's go check it out. So we're on the roof. Get the piece all cut. Let's see if it fits. The next piece down has the angle going up on the top and the bottom, so we'll match that at a 412 top and bottom. It should be pretty easy to match that up. So we just need the overall length. It'll be 53 and a half inches both sides, but we have to match that angle going down. There you can see that we're staining the uh, soffit. A beautiful red, it's gonna look nice. They'll be putting up the rakes uh, now on the front here, and I'll keep working on the garage doors. So little by little, we're closing this baby in. We're ready to trim out uh, the garage doors. You can see it has a 45 degree angle uh, on both corners. We have to, we're doing the uh, jams first. We cut those, cut those at a 20, <clears throat> 22 and a half degree angle so that the next one will be 22 and a half and that should uh, create, should mirror image what's there see if it does. I've already cut the, the side pieces ahead. So all the side jams fit really well. We'll do the two top pieces, then it's easier to put in that the two uh, the the angle pieces going on there. So I actually didn't trim that the way I wanted to. Typically I would run like the top piece run the bevel going the other way and the same coming up. Then you can uh, can adjust this coming up into there. 
I don't have that option. So now I have to cut it like really precise. Sometimes it means cutting it more than once because a 30 second of an inch will make a huge difference in whether or not that will go in. So I lucked out on that one. Uh, didn't have to cut it. It's uh, almost don't have to nail it. That is tight. Um, so we three more of those to do, then we'll do the, the trim on the outside. Okay, we'll start putting the pieces on, see how they fit. One done. Do the other one and uh, I don't know, maybe I'll put the garage doors in. Maybe go to the beach. Time for garage doors. We're doing the tracks now. Time for the door panels. Hey, all right, so we're putting the fascia on next. We'll start on the eaves side first and then do the gables. Um, that really, this really starts to make it look pretty when you start seeing colors uh, that, that uh, enhance each other. the line uh, plumb, take a skill saw and then we cut right up through there. That way we have an exact angle. If, if it's off a degree or two, uh, you can nail it, toenail it in and suck it in tight and uh, make the perfect joint every time. So we're doing drip edge around the, the whole perimeter. Then the roofing arrives tomorrow morning. Then we can put that on. What a beautiful day. Sun's shining, birds are singing. Joe's willing to work. Chad always works. I'm gonna work, we're gonna do a roof.
So we are done. We're packed up, ready to, to head out, give them some peace and quiet. This is a 24 by 24 garage with an 8 foot porch all the way across one side. Really pretty color scheme. Yeah, we'll take a look inside. And here you go. Plenty of room, 8 foot ceiling.